Good evening everybody, welcome to another City Skylands video, and today you may notice some weird things going on here. But basically, what the gist of this video is to show you basic bus station layouts you may see in Perth. So, obviously this is, you know, a rough layout, but it's the basic layout, the same ones you'd see on the Transperf maps. So, starting up with, well, a counterclockwise one. So you'll see this type of layout at Whitford's, Warwick, and Perth Busport, where and Redcliffe as well, Curtin Central, just to name a few, where the buses will go into a dedicated bus interchange oval. They will turn right, and then go into the bus base. That's giving you an island platform. Usually, Perth Busport is underground. However, I can't really do that on City Skylines. As you see, this is how I've got the bus stops to be in there. Next one list is the biggest one by far, Elizabeth Key bus station, which is huge. So basically, um, when they come in from William Street, um, when they come in from William Street, Pretend this is Wellington Street, okay? And then it turns around. <laughs> then they go in here, they do a hook turn into the busway, and then if, uh, for routes like 980, which would go here, that go to this stand over here, loop around, and so this one. Also, they can exit this way up to Milligan Street and whatnot, and serve the tariffs. Also, what you may not know is that once a 995 does terminate, it sometimes goes to stand A here. I just thought to show you out that's how it does that. And you can exit this way too. And there is a secret layer of A that I haven't actually done. But really, it's just the same thing. It's just next to them like that. It's literally just next to them. Next up is Morley bus station, more of the same thing, but it's actually more simplified. Entry one way, exit this way. Uh, but if you want to serve those stands, you have to go here, go up here, and then go here. Here is Midland Station's bus interchange, which is basically a roundabout at the end of the day. It pretty much is. Then you've got Fremantle, which, um, this one's pretty perfect, actually, how it's shaped. Here's Mirror Booker, which kind of looks similar to Elizabeth Key, with how it's got a two-way road here, like there, and it's one way on this side. Clockwise, so you can see this bus station at Glendalow, uh, where the uh, bus bays are on the outside, not the inside, and so the shelters will be on the outside of the uh, the outer side and not the inside, so you get side platforms. Here's a counterclockwise, but this time it's using the road network. You'll find this at Curden University. So, yeah. This also doubles as the one way sister, so uh, you can find that at Clarkson and Butler where they have a one way road, although not going this way. It would be going this way towards the outside. It'd be going that way. Here is Joondalup, which is basically also a counterclockwise, using the road network to loop around instead of having its loop um, built in. As I want to say though, for Curtin Central, it, uh, how do I demonstrate this? Its layout is pretty much just like this. Its layout is pretty much that, but it, uh, it curves in.
where it does that. Uh, wait, which side do we drive on? Yeah, drive on the left. Honestly, now looking at it, I am very confused. <laughs> uh, but it is basically like that. Um. Yeah, so basically, this is the loop point and not here. Although you could loop here, but you, you, you generally don't. Um, Dogbone! You can find this at High Wickham, Bull Creek, and Murdoch. It is literally a dog bone. Again, it uses the roundabout loop. Uh, also, to a certain extent, Claysbrook. Now, there are some other stations that I haven't pointed out, like Bayswater. Bayswater is pretty much like, if I get a metro station, put this here. Bayswater is simply just, if I took a track here and got this road. And let's say, uh, this is Coot Street right here. And that's Rose Avenue, and that's Beachboro Road South. It's basically that. That's what Bayswater looks like. Uh, bus bays are here. That would be base water. Um, pretty much, yeah, I've covered them all. The the type of bus stations you might see in Perth. 